Today we're going to be taking the bike in to get its 600 mile service. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, can't believe it's well it's actually 550 miles by the time I get there it's gonna be uh, I don't know another 30 miles on top of that and uh, so it's gonna be just under 600 miles but the timing is convenient for me so it's going to go in today <laughs> Yeah. 550 and as you can see that uh, stupid uh, warning light is on as well as the the little icon for the for the wrench I don't know why both icons have to be on but that's what it is got my top box off my tank bag off they don't both need to be on the bike uh, so we're gonna go and drop this off I'm gonna leave it there uh, starting at nine o'clock it's now I don't know quarter to nine so leave it there until about four I'm gonna tell them that I'm gonna pick it up at about four o'clock and uh, so they'll have lots of time to get a 600 mile first service done. I'm going to be taking the uh, the 99 which is a long ring road around Houston uh, and uh, so it's kind of boring. I'll pick this up later. Well, it's 20 minutes after I left home and I'm just about half a mile, not even half a mile to the dealership. Let's see if Don is there. <laughs> 89 degrees, it's going to be another hot day. What else is new in Houston? Especially this day, uh, this year when we've got this La Nina weather phenomenon. And the heat dome that's pushing the temperature to like 100 degrees every day or more. She's not here yet. this up later. Oh, I just uh, picked the bike up and I'm 441 or something like that dollars poorer. Man, 600 mile service and uh, he says it's basically what's in the in the manual that they did, but they don't have a printout to show me. But he did everything that's in the manual. So I have to trust that everything was covered. Uh, essentially it's basically changing the oil and filter and uh, checking the diagnostics. Uh, see there's no codes. Uh, checking for any firmware updates and making sure everything is tight including all the spokes now do you think that the spokes were checked <laughs> uh, what's the time time is 336 I left this bike there at just after 9 so 915 or so but it was done for a while and sitting in the Sun temperatures like 105 degrees right now so that's the main reason I'm picking it up so well a little bit earlier than I said I was going to come back by about 4 and it's 3.37 now and this bike is just sitting there in the sun cooking yeah. it's 
somebody messed my mirror up. You know me, I'm kind of like anal about mirrors. So my wife dropped me off and uh, so she's going back her way. She doesn't like driving on the highway. So she's going back the slow way, as she says. And uh, I'm going back my normal way, <laughs> which is all highways wherever possible. So I expect I'll be back home long before she is. Back in the Grand Parkway for the fourth time today. Lots of tolls today. But I only do this once in a while, so I don't mind. It's a quicker way to get, get to where I where I live. So much better to go this way. One thing I wanted to, to remark, um, in 105 degrees Fahrenheit, you don't feel the, the heat coming off of the radiators as much. You know, as a matter of fact, the heat on the top of my legs, just from the sun, is, is hotter than the heat coming out of the radiators. So, to everybody who's complaining about the heat coming out of the radiators, just ride in 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and the problem goes away. You got uh, different problems than that. This bike does corner very nicely on these tires, these stock tires that came with the bike. Uh, it's just like just like riding any other bike, you know. Uh, the 21-inch wheel doesn't really make any difference. So the 99 or the Grand Parkway is uh, is a lot more relaxing to ride on, even though the speed limit is higher. It's a lot more relaxing to ride on than the Interstate 45. Largely because there's only two or three lanes and uh, you know everybody's doing his own thing and uh, It's not so bad and the fact that it's a toll road also uh, Cuts down on the number of uh, vehicles on the on the road So it's uh, for me a much better way to get around So yeah, when I get back home, I'm gonna put up on the screen uh, in this video what they should have covered as part of the 600 mile uh, service and uh, Essentially He says that it took two and a half hours. They spend usually two and a half hours on the bike and uh, At their rates, which is something like I don't know 125 130 dollars an hour uh, Still when you you take that and you uh, and you factor in the oil and filter and all of that. They're still they're still making a, a, a hefty, a hefty profit on this. Um, oh well. <laughs> <laughs>